starting lineups are Mikola Shikova manning the center spot, Cody McMahon, Taylor Mikesell, Taylor Thury, and Madison Green with Paige Cody at the center for New Hampshire, Brooke Kane, Breezy Williams, Avery O'Connor, and Adara Groman filling out the five for New Hampshire. The tip-off won by the Buckeyes. Quick three here from McMahon. Good rebound there by Madison Green. She's dumping it off to McMahon. Nice drive. Little weaving action there. Theory finds McMahon. She lays it in for the first basket of the game. Just quick, easy ball move for this Ohio State squad, and it instantly settling into that full-court press that's gotten so many teams so far this season. The break here, Groman bringing it all the way up into the paint, gets it to Brooke Kane, who gets it to Cody, and now they'll take it outside. Breezy Williams will set up the offense. Mike Sell guarding her. Groman taking it up top. Now Avery O'Connor, who's the leading scorer on this team, a little step back three. Is off just to the left. Taylor Seary pulls down the rebound. Here's McMahon driving it hard. Goes to the right side. Nice finish there. Two quick buckets for Cody McMahon. In each Ohio State point, you can hear all these kids screaming so far today, Jack. Breaking this press. Here's Breezy Williams. O'Connor wants another one. Looks good, but just a little strong. Mike Sell tips it to Mikola Sikobza, who tips it back to Mike Sell, who herself has been playing awesome. Couple big scoring games against Louisville and Rutgers. McMahon's pass for Mikola Shikova is tipped and stolen by the Wildcats. Williams here. Bringing it up, guarded by Madison Green. Now on the corner, here's Adara Groman. Moving it around. Now on in front of the Ohio State bench, O'Connor. 0 for 2 to start this game. Ball moving it around here. Williams launches a 3, and she splashes that one. Not an easy shot. She makes this game 4-3 in the opening minutes. Breezy Williams averaging 10 points so far this year. And we talked about, again, this Wildcast team is going to need everything they got today, playing with only seven players on their roster. Nice pass into the corner by Mikola Zikova. Taylor Fury a step inside the line. But easy money for her. She's on the board with two points. Again, Ohio State in the press. Brooke Kane here. Off the pass from Williams. She gets it back to Williams. Slipping in through two. Nice pick there from Groman on McMahon, and Williams here will set up the offense. Avery O'Connor, the Massachusetts native, freshman leading this team in scoring. Giving it to Groman, another Massachusetts native. Now Brooke Kane faking that three, looking to drive in on Nikola Shikova. Not an easy shot, but she gets it up, but a little too much power there. Mike Sell pulls down the rebound. McMahon, thinking about a three, wants it just a little short there. They'll head out of bounds. Wildcat ball. You know, only down three so far, but I like the way this Wildcat team was trying to attack the paint a little bit. That time getting nothing against the taller Mikola Shikova, but doing a great job staying aggressive here in the early minutes. Kane finds Cody. Cody with a great pass to Groman. Groman freezes Madison Green and lays it in. New Hampshire now trails by one here. As we get under the seven-minute mark in this first quarter. Madison Green, whose presence has been a welcome... Uh, his return has been a welcome presence for this Buckeye squad. McMahon gets inside the floater. A little too much there. Rebound pulled down by O'Connor. Williams bringing it up. Now here's O'Connor again. Groman takes it up near the Ohio State logo. Now feeding to Brooke Kane. O'Connor picks up the dribble. Looking for Paige Cody. Inside to Brooke Kane. Nice move in the soft touch. New Hampshire with their first lead of the game. Again, doing a great job, just staying physical, staying aggressive, attacking the paint. Brooke Kane getting it done so far today. Green attacking off the pick and roll. Tough pass, but Nikola Shikova's got it. Spinning around, looking for someone. Ball is loose, but Madison Green finds it. McMahon will hold on. Driving inside. She's got Taylor Fury. Great find. Easy lay-in for number two. Couldn't have said her better, Jack. Just a nice, easy lay-in there. The Wildcats caught lackluster defense allows for the easy layup. Williams calling out a play. Getting some movement there on the, along the baseline. Now coming up, Groman. Guarded by Mike Sell. Here's O'Connor. Another three. This one off just a little to the left. High rebound grabbed by Taylor Theory. Theory driving it in hard. Pass might have been deflected. Nikola Shikova's got it. Looking back inside for Theory. That's a tough pass. And off the hands of Theory, Wildcat basketball. 
Yeah, just trying to get the unselfish play. Miklos Kovic dumps it off down low. Couldn't work out that time, but Ohio State still leads by one here. Now for the first time tonight, head coach Kelsey Hogan for this Wildcat squad making substitutions. And, folks, we talked about it again. Only seven players tonight. Stamina is going to be a big key for New Hampshire. Yeah, first subs here are Carly, uh, Carolina Anderson excuse me, and Diana Eliason for the Wildcats. O'Connor gives it to Eliason. Now Anderson, the Sweden native, gives it to O'Connor. Another three, this one long. She's 0 for 4 to start. Madison Green with the rebound. Now she's driving in. She wants the floater. A little too much. Tipped by Theory. Diving for the ball is Green and O'Connor. And we got a tie-up. That will go the Wildcats way. Timeout on the floor here. Really, the sky's the limit to see how far they can go. And the Buckeyes here off to this great start with so many returners and there ain't no, despite another game here, there's going to be two in a row missed by J.C. Sheldon, by which Coach McGuff described as a lower leg injury. She's out, but the Buckeyes have not missed a beat. Ricky Harris checking in here for the Buckeyes that we just talked to on Tuesday. Doing that great defense that she is on, been on here on Breezy Williams. Williams trying to step back to Carolina Anderson. Here's Eliason. Tough shot there, trying to use the backboard, but a little too much. Nikola Shikova pulls down the rebound. Avery O'Connor picks up the rebound. And Buckeyes really haven't settled in quite yet. They only have a one-point lead, but luckily for them, this Wildcat team scoring drought the past two and a half minutes, haven't been able to convert a field goal. Avery O'Connor with a step-back jumper in and out. Mike Sell pulls down the rebound as Nikola Shikova goes down, but she's right behind her. She's going to set the pick for, equal, uh, for Mike Sell, but she'll give it to Theory now. Ricky Harris in the corner for three, just a little strong, but Theory gets up, grabs a tough offensive rebound. It's short, fighting for the rebound. Eliason, despite a little hand grab from Theory, she'll hold on to it. Breezy, William, Breezy Williams will run the show here. Madison Green guarding her. Leads this team in steals with almost three a game. Brooke Kane, a little handoff. Now Breezy Williams wants a three. That one's deep and a little short. Anderson, another rebound. She'll take a fadeaway jumper on Mik Rebecca Mikulashikova, and she'll swish it home for another New Hampshire lead change. That was the first field goal in over three and a half minutes for both teams. After a quick start, they've gone off more on the slow offensive end, over four for Ohio State, and then one for seven now for this Wildcat squad. Harris, a three-pointer off to the left. Pulled down by Williams. Pass is stolen by Taylor Mike Sell. Mike Sell looking to bring it all the way herself. And she can't hit the uh, layup, but Madison Green right there for the offensive rebound, the putback, and the foul. Great job by Madison Green being at the right place at the right time off the missed layup. Able to just simply put it back in, draw in the contact, and Jack now should go to the chance for a three-point play. Green, who missed the entire season last year. She's been starting this season. She started all eight games. She's back, averaging over 10 points per game and being the facilitator that she was before she left, averaging over six assists a game for as she converts the N1. It's great to see her back. You talked about it. Missed last season with an injury. Being back has been really encouraging for not only her teammates, but, of course, all Ohio State fans looking to see her back high on the court. Buckeye pressure forcing another inbounds here for the Wildcats. Inbound to Diana Eliason. She can't hold on to it. The Buckeyes force the turnover. That press. Maybe starting to make a, uh, its presence felt here, Cole. Yeah, a little early on, that's where they get most of their teams, one of the best defensive teams in causing turnovers, and that's been their bread and butter all year long. Buckeyes get a substitution here for Rebecca Mikola Shikova. That's Ebony Walker, who's got the ball on the side here. She'll take a shot. Just shorts it a little bit on the front. And another long pass there. Mike Sell wanted it. Eliasson stays with it. Another pass here. They're fighting for it. Ricky Harris gets it loose from Brooke Kane. And now on the move, here's Madison Green. She's got Theory. Theory coming in hard. Nice layup. Buckeyes extend the lead to 13-9. And just like that, Ohio State shakes the rust off. Jumps out to a quick four-point lead there. Just some quick ball movement that really has been getting them going.
Back here at Value City Arena, Matt Goldman with a quick update for us from the sideline. E. Sheldon, one of the top players for Ohio State, out today with a lower leg injury. She's been nursing that for a couple games now. Rebecca Mikulashikova went to the locker room for Ohio State, who just had her career high, 31 points in their last game against Rutgers. Emma Shoemate is back from her four-game hiatus as she was unavailable. And today, Maya Perry for the Buckeyes, also unavailable as well as what the Ohio State spokesperson told me. So a couple injuries for Ohio State, but they look pretty healthy today from the players playing. Back to you, Jack. Hey, thank you there, Matt, for those updates here as Ebony Walker, the replacement for Nikola Shikova at the moment, with a beautiful up and under move to get herself on the board and extend the lead to 15-9. 7-0 run for this Ohio State squad at the Ebony Walker lay. I'm just talking about the depth that they have. You know, we get so many players in here despite some battling injuries here and there, but just a, such a deep roster that's really going to be able to compete really strongly here in the Big Ten season coming up. The Wildcats here. After breaking the press in the half-court set, Brooke Kane with a nice move. She'll take the mid-range shot, but a little strong there. Tip ball, rebound to Madison Green. Hand off to Mike Sell. Mike Sell, nice pass to Walker. Another mid-range shot from Ebony Walker, but a little too much. Tipped out of bounds by Taylor Theory. And the Wildcats will get the ball here on the inbounds underneath their own basket. A couple more subs. Brooke Kane will take... A substitution for Paige Cody, who gets the inbound here from Anderson and gives it back to Anderson. Now Williams brings it up court in front of the scorer's table. Slow things down. Anderson on the drive here, working her way inside. A fake and coming back on the fadeaway. little too strong. Ricky Harris with the rebound, floats it up to Harris. Harris, or to Mitchell, excuse me, with the nice floater game. And she's on the back on the board here as the Buckeyes go up 17-9. Under 30 seconds to play in this first quarter. The Wildcats will slow it down. They have the final shot with no shot clock and under 10 seconds to go. Williams, on Theory, draw out the foul. That's Theory's first. Yeah, have the foul to give there. No need. Taylor Theory just kind of setting up the defense a little bit. No need to allow her to really get going here. Williams looks like she will inbound it here for the Wildcats. Emma Shoemate checking in for the first time here. She checks in, checks in for Taylor Theory. Williams will inbound it. She gets it to Anderson. Hand off to Williams. Williams looking for the three. She takes it. A little too strong there. Ebony Walker grabs the rebound. And that's the first quarter of play. Ohio State 17, New Hampshire 9 here after one. Cole, any final thoughts here after one quarter of play? You know, it was a little side me, my partners Cole Emplett and Matt Goldman. Taylor Mikesell, another great start to the season, making her first weekly honor roll this season after her last two performances, a season-high 30 points against Rutgers, after, following that up after 26 points against Rutgers. She comes in averaging 19 points per game. Off to another great start after a great season last year, looking to re uh, follow that up here in what might be her last season of college basketball. Her pass out to Emma Shoemate in the corner. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Now working it around. Madison Green wants the three, and she drains it. Great shot there from Madison Green to extend the Buckeye lead. And it seems like the Buckeyes really starting to settle in now. 12-0 run for this squad, panning from the bit, from the end of that first period. Long pass cross court there, stolen by Ricky Harris. Harris taking it in strong, but a little short. O'Connor grabbing the rebound there for the Wildcats. And Breezy Williams will bring it up. Williams one for four in that first quarter with a rebound and a turnover. She's the point guard for this team, moving it around here. Great pass inside to Carolina Anderson from Paige Cody. She lays it in. New Hampshire cuts the lead back down to nine. And this is how the Wildcats need to stay in this game. Keep attacking the paint. They've done a great job tonight when they're down there being physical and attacking the rack. Mike Sell, quick trigger three. She splashes home the deep three. And that's been the story so far this season. Taylor Mike Sell just doing her thing on offense. Breezy Williams coming up. Pass over to Anderson and back to Williams here. They'll slow it down. Looking to get some moving. Madison Green ding her up. Now Anderson looking inside. Pass. Little too high there for Carolina Anderson. 
Emma Shoemake gets a hand on it to keep it in bounds. Now Madison Green driving up, takes it out. Now Harris, Shoemate into the corner. Mike Sell wants another one. She's got another one. Back to back threes for Taylor Mike Sell. Buckeyes up 26 11. She's one of the best in the country at doing just that, that, just that, Jack. She's extremely dangerous from beyond the arc. You have to keep a hand up on Taylor Mike Sell. Anderson brings it up into the half court. Now she'll throw it back up where Williams is just inside the half court. Pass stolen by Ricky Harris. Great anticipation. Goes behind the back. Inside to Taylor Mike Sell. Just short. Tough shot there from Taylor Mike Sell. Rebound there by Paige Cody. On the other end, the Wildcats looking to respond. Here's Groman. Gives it to Paige Cody inside to Carolyn Anderson. Back and down. Mike Sell working hard. The left-handed shot is good. And New Hampshire cuts into the lead here and cuts that 11-0 Ohio State run. Anderson was begging for the ball. She had the smaller Ricky Harris on her who played some good defense, but the height just really being the X factor that time. Outside, Emma Shoemate faked a three, then launched it just a little strong there. Rebounded by the Wildcats. Breezy Williams. Guarded by Green. Tipped by Shoemate. Still fighting for it. Anderson. Over to Groman now. Anderson wants a three. Just a short on the air ball. Harris pulls down the rebound. Low pass. Now here's Green. Launching a three is Mike Sell off the pass, but that one a little strong. Now here come the Wildcats. Williams. Slowly bringing her up, guarded by Madison Green as she's been all day so far. Brings it over to the right side in front of Coach McGuff. Here's O'Connor. She spots up a three and banks it in. She's on the board, Avery O'Connor, with her first three of the game. One for six so far. And it's a ten-point game. Madison Green to respond. A little, boy, uh, a little long there. O'Connor pulls it down. And now here comes Williams. Moving it over. O'Connor wants another one. This one a little strong. Ricky Harris. The rebound. Bringing it up. Mike Sell, a quick trigger three. But she looks like she is fouled, and that is the call. She'll get three shots. Yeah, Mike Sell is disappointed on that one. She was hoping that could go in, convert the four-point play. But, man, how has great has she been today? We're seeing it back, though, just... Taylor Mike Sell, one of the most dangerous shooters across the country from beyond the arc. She's been getting it done today. Eight points so far, two from three from beyond the arc. She now has a chance to get into double digits as she goes to three now at the charity stripe. Yeah, and she's just one of those players, Cole, that, and you know Coach McGuff, anytime she's got the ball and she wants to shoot a three, I mean, it's not a bad shot, right? Just feels automatic sometimes. Any spot on the court is a great shot for Taylor Mike Sell. As she now hits double digits. 10 now on the night. She leaves all scores. Couple subs there for the Buckeyes. Walker, Shoemate, and Ricky Harris are out. Theory, Cody McMahon, and Rebecca Mikulishikova are back in. The press still working here for the Buckeyes, but getting it over half court are the Wildcats. This is Diana Oliason. Picked up the dribble. Now look for Adara Groman. Groman. To Cody, now inside. Brooke Kane working on Madison Green. Tough layup is good. New Hampshire down 11 here as the Buckeyes come the other way. Nikola Shikova thought about the three for a second. Now McMahon inside. Nikola Shikova a little too much. Pulls down her own rebound. Turnaround floater is good. And Nikola Shikova on the board for the first time tonight. Two points, but... She got it done last game, a career high for her. And now I say starting to pick it up a little bit, but the Wildcats not going to wait quite yet. They keep on chipping and chipping their way down, staying this game, Jack. And it looks like the Buckeyes just got a five second. This crowd has been awesome. They're getting rowdy here coming out of this timeout here. It's 31 18. The Buckeyes got the ball underneath the New Hampshire basket. Madison Green will do the inbound here. An off full screen action. Nikola Shikova gets it and then bangs it back to Green. A little move there by Mike Sell. Draws the double team. McMahon inside the Theory. Theory brings it back out to the three-point line. Mike Sell 
Coming in with the left hand. Pass is deflected and stolen by Breezy Williams. Now here's Brooke Kane going to the left side. Coming in with the hard left. Little strong there. But a great move. Just missing. Cody McMahon coming down with a head of steam. Stops. Great use of the class there for the tough two. Inbound to Williams. Guarded by Theory. Or excuse me, Oliasson who finds Williams. They get to O'Connor. She's pickpocketed by Madison Green. Green driving inside. Theory's got to throw it out. And instead of finding a Buckeye, she finds a Wildcat. Diana Oliasson will slow it down. Give it to Breezy Williams and she'll bring it up the court. Williams gets a pick inside. Brooke Kane takes a dribble, lays it up after the pump fake, but a little much. Gets her own miss, misses, gets her own miss again, and gets a foul. A lot of work there for Brooke Kane. And she gets a tough, uh, a hard-earned trip to the free throw line there, Cole. Yeah, great job attacking like you mentioned. She's got four points tonight, and that's been their strongest factor for this Wildcat squad, just taking it inside, attacking the glass, which Ohio State hasn't been able to stop them quite yet. They're only down 14 here, but keep attacking. See what you can pull together here. We just see, again, great job being aggressive, fighting there, and going to the line for a pair of two. Kane hits one, missing the second. She's up to five points and two rebounds on the day. McMahon driving it hard with a great take and the foul. Cody McMahon with an awesome start here to this game. She's got eight points. Four for seven from the field. She's got a chance to add one more. Doing a great job, like you said. No, Isaac's picked up three for three on their last couple from the field, but a great job you mentioned from McMahon taking it all the way inside, drawing the contact, can't convert the free throw there, but just a great job by this Ohio State team in the second quarter, especially being a little more aggressive. Yeah, the freshman from Centerville, Ohio, has been a great addition here to the Buckeyes. One of the few newcomers on the squad. We talked about how much of the Buckeyes are returning so far this year. Uh, Nikola Shikova pulls down that rebound. Madison Green. Returner in her own sense as she's coming back from injury. She gets blocked there by O'Connor on the coast to coast layup attempt. Now here's Brooke Kane. Spots up a three and splashes it. Brooke Kane, eight points so far today on eight shots in New Hampshire. Staying in this game, they're down 13. Green gets the pick from Taylor Theory. Now McMahon whips one inside the Taylor Theory. What a great pass! The vision by McMahon has been awesome, too. She's got two assists. Great pass and just wide open, Taylor Theory. is. She's now got a quiet eight points so far tonight. A little strong by Aaliyah Sintu Williams. Good save there by Paige Cody. She gets it to Williams, who got it to O'Connor. O'Connor, after deflecting a pass, whips one into Brooke Kane, and Brooke Kane finishes home the assist. Brooke Kane's starting to turn it on here, Cole. She's got ten points. Yeah, double digits now from Brooke Kane. And we talked about, again, seven players for this Wildcats team. Someone was going to need to step up, and Kane has been that player so far today. McMahon working it inside. Can't get the shooter's roll. Williams here bringing it up for the Wildcats. She'll be guarded by Madison Green. Waiting for someone to come off the screen. It's Aliyah Sin looking inside. For Cody, but Nikola Shikova gets a hand on it. O'Connor whips it to Williams, now Kane. He's got a couple buckets in a row. Well, he check shot there. Doesn't hit anything and goes out of bounds. Buckeye basketball. I think you said best, a little bit of a heat check shot. She kind of forced that one. Time was starting to wind down a little bit. But I say we'll get the ball back. Rick Harris checking back in today's game. She's a little quiet so far. But this Ohio State squad's trying to pick it up in the second quarter. They only still lead by 13 here. Well, Ricky Harris. Talk about no points there, 0 for 3. But three steals already for Ricky Harris, who's just so great on the defensive end here. Theory missing a shot and getting a rebound on the other end. McMahon can't hit that shot. And we got a whistle underneath the basket. Looks like it's on the Wildcats on that rebound attempt. Diana Eliasson gets the call. Her first. Taylor Theory checks out. Emma Shoemate checks in. Yeah, we're just seeing it again. A little too aggressive there as Ricky Harris came in for the rebound, calling that on Eliasson, and Eliasson retains possession here. Harris 
Gets it to McMahon in the corner now, feeding Nikola Shikova. Working through a double team there. She splits him and finishes with the left hand. What a move by Rebecca Mikola Shikova. A fantastic move. You said it best, Jack. Just using her body, getting around, getting a nice little up and under for her. O'Connor, quick trigger shot from mid-range on the other end. She gets herself on the board with her second bucket. Two for eight for five points. Madison Green, six points, two assists for her as the Buckeye point guard feeding Mikola Shikova again. This time... It's McMahon. Tough shot there from Mikola Shikova. She doesn't find any iron. Good defense by the Wildcats. And now on the other end, they look to match. Anderson a three. A little strong there. McMahon pulls down the rebound. Full head of steam. Whips it out to Mikola Shikova. A little strong, but she want, still wants the three. Front rims the shot there. Fighting for the rebound was Breezy Williams. Gets it to Brooke Kane. She'll slow it down and get it to her point guard, Williams. At the Ohio State logo, she's guarded up by Madison Green. Pick from Kane, but she doesn't really do anything with it. Anderson looking inside for Kane. Now pulls it back outside. Shot clock expired. And as it goes down here on the regular shot clock, a three-point buzzer beater by Breezy Williams there, Cole. To get the game to within 10. As you heard with Matt talking to Kevin McGuff right before we went to break here, he wants his team to be more aggressive. He hasn't exactly been pleased with their performances so far. He wants to see how they can turn it up defensively on that turnover end. He's saying that they had the much more talented team. Let's see how they can use it to work now and outplay this Wildcats squad. Yeah, Coach McGuff said that the Wildcats outplayed the Buckeyes. Scoreboard wouldn't indicate that, but the Wildcats aren't playing hard having to break that uh, Ohio State press. And here working a uh, working a good shot into the corner, but a tough look there for Groman. Just a little short. Green gives it to Theory. Theory walks right down Main Street for the layup. She's got 10 points here. Five to seven from the floor. Inbound to Adara Groman. Back to Kane, and then Groman gets it, but the pass stolen by Cody McMahon. Inside for Mike Sell. Deflected by Avery O'Connor, but Mike Sell gets it back. Nikola Shikova chews up a three and drains it. Nikola Shikova, uh, Nikola Shikova with seven points here in her follow-up to her career high 31. Pressing here are the Buckeyes. Williams gets it to Cody, and then uh, in mount, or, uh, a drive by Groman off the pass from Cody. Tough finish there, but she gets herself on the board to start the second quarter. McMahon, a wide open three. Soft touch there on the three. She's got 11 points and another deflected pass. This time Madison Green, but the Wildcats stay on it. And a steal there by Cody McMahon. She'll walk in for the layup. And the Wildcats got to take a quick timeout here. Buckeyes go up 41 or 49 to. Th Out of the break here, 8:21 to go in this third quarter. The Ohio State Buckeyes 49, the New Hampshire Wildcats 31. That's our score here as out of the break. It was New Hampshire ball here. Breaking the press to uh, Adari Groman. Adara Groman, excuse me. She gets it to Breezy Williams. Little pick there. And then the quick shot. A little too much there. Madison Green pulls down the rebound. That's three rebounds for her. She gets a pick from Nikola Shikova coming at an angle. Discussing that with the ref coming from the side. Rebecca didn't like it, but the ref showing her that she came from the angle there, Cole. Let's yeah. make Gillick score the second foul. Hey, Coach Kevin McGuff said, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. And now, just because like that, Ohio State's got the possession back. Yeah, and they turn it right back over. Mikulikova still getting the explanation here from one of the referees here. She gets ready to inbound it to Madison Green. Madison Green gets it over to McMahon, who's over at double digits. Mike Sell off the pick, uses it for the open space, and buries another three. 
Taylor with 14 points. The Buckeyes on an 8-0 run here. Groman gets it over half court. Now Brooke Kane gets it over to Breezy Williams. Williams guarded by Madison Green. Using the pick. Now McMahon switches on to her. Cody looking inside for Kane. A little much there, but she had her. Stays with it. Now O'Connor lost it. Madison Green has it. But it looks like she's out of bounds. So it will stay Wildcat ball. Williams will inbound. Looks outside the three-point line for Brooke Kane. Now here's Williams. At the Ohio State logo, brings it over in front of her bench. Kane gets the pass. Now O'Connor. Lost the dribble, working for Williams. She gets it. Off the pick. Looking in the corner. Pass deflected. McMahon's got it. Pass up to Mike Silk. Can she chase it down? She will. Reverse layup's good. The concentration there from Taylor Mikesell gets her another bucket. She's got 16. And how great has she been today, Jack? Three for four from the from beyond the arc and getting it done within the three-point range as well. She's doing a great job overall as this Buckeye squad. 10-0 run in the last two minutes. O'Connor's quick trigger three. Cues up an Ohio State fast break. Mikesell can't hit the three. Off the pass from McMahon. McMahon! Keeps it in play. Nice balance there. She falls out of bounds. Now she gets an attempt at a three. Just a little short there. Fighting for it, Nikola Shikova, but Avery O'Connor pulls it down for the Wildcats. Breezy Williams. Slowing it down. Looking for a pick on Green. She gets it. Cody inside for Brooke Kane. Nice move there. And she lays it up for two. Brooke Kane, she's got 12 points here. First bucket of the second half. And they needed that over a two and a half minute scoring drought for this Wildcat squad. Getting something on the board here as they let this third quarter get away from them. Off the pick there, Green faked it inside. Now McMahon with no space. She drives it inside from left to right. Tough take. Draws the foul after the made bucket, so she'll get a chance to tack on another one. 15 points for Cody McMahon to go along with three rebounds and three assists. Yeah, McMahon's just having a great game. 15 points, you like you mentioned. One point off her career high. Great job just drawing contact on that one and just floating it up nice and easy off the backboard. Now she's going to have a chance at three-point play. And the Buckeyes starting to pour it on here. 56-33 now. With a chance to tag on one more. McMahon buries the free throw to get herself to 16 points. She's tied for Mike Sell as the game's leading scorer. On the other end, the Wildcats. Williams gets it to Eliason, who gets a pick from Carolina Anderson. Picks it up to Kane. Now, Groman, her, uh, her drive there off the Brooke Kane pick. Foul on Cody McMahon there on the Kane pick. That's McMahon's first. And the Wildcats will take it underneath their own basket. Or the Buckeyes basket, excuse me. Kane. Off the pass, driving inside on McMahon. The reverse layup. Does not get the shooter's touch. Miko Kostova pulls it down. McMahon. The Mike Sell. Mike Sell inside to Harris. Now outside. McMahon squares up a three. Just a little short. Ricky Harris pulls down the board. Looks inside, Mike Sell driving in, a floater rattles around. Tipped out of play by the Wildcats. Time out on the floor with under five minutes to go. Ohio State 57, New Hampshire 33 here. We're gonna talk in any way, and she's been fantastic this year, Jack. Thank you there, Matt. I, Madison Green's return, it's just been awesome to see. Such a valuable member of this squad. And she's come back from such a tough injury so well. Eight games in. She talked about how on Tuesday she feels 100%. No setbacks, no nothing. So awesome to hear that from her. She's been playing great, as Matt said. So here we are on the other end, though. The Wildcats attacking here. Shot clock getting down there, though. 
They're going to have to throw something up. Williams attacking. She falls and draws the foul, though. Looks like that could be on Taylor Mike's out. Yeah, just trying to force something. Like you mentioned, shot clock winding down. Had to force up a shot, but instead drawing the contact. She just kind of whittled her, swiveled her way through the crowd of Ohio State there. Yeah, and actually on uh, Cody McMahon there, excuse me. Quick shot there off the inbound, but it won't count. Brooke Kane stepped out of bounds according to the ref, so no shot clock buzzer beater there for the Wildcats instead of turnover. For this Ohio State squad, Jack, 13-2 run over the last four and a half minutes, and they've just been moving the ball and doing a great job. Two players, 16 points. That's McMahon and Mike Zell, along with Theory. Right now sitting on the bench, he has 10 as well. Just really good job at spreading all around as Mike Zell hits that one. Yeah, Mike Zell, quick trigger three again. That run becomes 16-2 to two over the last four, four minutes and 30 seconds, as Cole said. And that run has been spurned, uh, Cole. Five turnovers by the Wildcats in that time period. She's doing a great job both offensively and defensively from this Buckeye squad so far. Working her way in, Diana Eliason. The junior kicked it out to Brooke Kane. Now in the corner. A three ball from Breezy Williams. A little too much there. The air ball scooped up by Rebecca Mikolashikova. Now McMahon off the pass from Madison Green. She takes it herself. Cody McMahon has had a just, she wants to get to the rim, Cole. She's got a knack for doing it all season. But today, it's just something about it. She is driving to the rim and she's finishing with authority. And you're saying that she's doing a great job using her speed and athleticism to do just that. Get right to the rim, draw contact when she can. But another great day for an Ohio State Buckeye. McMahon went out with 18 points. 18 for her. Tipped pass there. But into the hands of Car Carolina Anderson. A step back three as the shot clock expires. Only hits the backboard. So we'll stop the clock quickly. Buckeyes will take the inbound with 3 one to go here in this 62-33 affair. Madison Green, 6.5 rebounds, 3 assists in her 27 minutes of work. In the corner, Ricky Harris all alone. She buries that one. And she's on the board. 1 for 3 now from downtown. 3 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 steals for Harris. Good offensive movement here. Anderson in the corner trying to do a reverse layup, but it's blocked by Taylor Theory. Trying to save it was Madison Green, but not able to get it. Stays New Hampshire ball, Cole. And again, that just continues what's been a dominant quarter for this Ohio State squad. 21-2 to run the last six minutes. And we see again just the defensive pressure by Taylor Theory to get the hand on that one. But this Ohio State squad, it's the third quarter that's been the difference maker today. 26 to 4 has been the scoring margin just within the opening seven and a half minutes so far, Jack. Yeah, we talked about how Matt and uh, Matt talking with Coach McGuff at halftime. Coach McGuff not pleased with his Buckeye squad. And as you said in the first couple of minutes, whatever he said at halftime has got the uh, got these ladies fired up here. They are playing fast and aggressive to start this third quarter. They've worked up quite the lead here. Taylor Theory back in the game. Kicks it out to Emma Shumate. And now Madison Green back at the top of the key. Gets a pick from Taylor Theory. Little hesitation outside to Harris. Harris trying to pass it out but deflected. Stays with it. Kicks it to Shumate in the corner. A three from Emma Shumate is a little short. And it rolls out in the corner. Brooke Kane grabs it. Touches a couple Wildcats. And now it finds Eliason. Gives it to Breezy Williams. Williams, six points for the Wildcat point guard. Kane inside. Groman trying to spin on Harris. Harris with the active hands. She's got her first block of the game to go along with her three steals. Such a defensive uh, mastermind there. Her and Madison Green just awesome when it comes to pressuring their pull. I think you said it best. She's doing a great job collapsing there defensively. And what's been, like we said, a big difference maker. This New Hampshire squad here, seven turnovers the last seven minutes, also in a scoring drought, nearing four and a half minutes. Just another testament to this Buckeyes defense today. Kane gets the inbound from Williams and gives it back to Williams. Mike Sell steps up on her. Double team drawn, kicks it over to Kane. Looks like she got it off, but a little too strong there. Rebound by uh, New Hampshire. Good rebound there by Eliason. 
Williams has it now. Here she is again. Diana Eliason over to Groman. Foul called on the Buckeyes. Off ball. Or excuse me, it was on the Wildcats off ball. As the uh, ladies going the other way, it's a turnover. And it looks like it's on Carolina Anderson, number 20. Ebony Walker checking back in for the Buckeyes. Rebecca Mikolashkova will take the seat. And on the other end, Harris finds Walker. Now off the pick, Mike Sell. Harris, and in the corner, Taylor Theory. Driving in with the left hand, goes to the right. Using that glass for the tough finish. She draws the and one. Theory's been fantastic now. 12 points, doing a great job attacking there, drawing the contact. Last year, we knew she was a really good defensive player, especially in that second half season. This season, she's showing her offensive abilities as well for this Buckeye squad. Yeah, two people we can talk about here for this team whose offense has just gotten, been so key for these teams. Taylor Theory averaging over 10 points after being under 5 per game last year. And then Nikola Shukova averaged about 9 to 10 per game last year. Comes into this game averaging 19.8, Cole. It's been such big step-ups on the offensive end. I feel like it adds another wrinkle to this Ohio State offensive attack. It definitely does. That's the reason they are the number three team as of today in the country, their highest program ranking ever. Theory again, using the art of misdirection and the hesitation to take it in strong for the layup. Deflected there by Ricky Harris, looking for steal number four. She won't get it. Theory up to 14 points. Go on with her six rebounds and a block and a steal. So she's doing a bit of everything here today. Inbound from Brooke Kane to Diana Eliason. And the foul there on the uh, Wildcats, number 10. Eliason again called for the push. Walker will inbound here to Ricky Harris. Harris. Willing to take some clock. Gets her defender to fall there off the step back move, but the deflection there by Brooke Kane trying to push it up the floor. Taylor Mikesell steals it back. Time winding down. She's got to loft up a three. And it looks good coming out of her hands, goal, but just a little strong. A little strong, but hey, anything coming out Taylor Mikesell's hands from any spot of the court, it always looks good, Jack. She has 19 points, but man, this Buckeye's working right, left to right, and then Taylor Mikesell here. Quick trigger three off the pick. Burying that shot. She's up to 19 points. McMahon with a great pass there. That's her one assist. Taylor Mikesell staying with it to reverse home the layup. And then Brooke Kane with a great shot there as she stays with it. She's got 12 points. McMahon taking on the contact there. That was her and one shot in that third quarter. And then another uh, pick between McMahon and Mikesell. It's been deadly how Mikesell's been getting the space off the McMahon uh, pick there. That's queued up two of her three-pointers in this game. And here off the uh, Heaven Bristow layup, she converts to make it 71-33. Brooke Kane gets it up to Diana Eliason. And then Groman working her way inside. But she's going to take it on slow it down. Adara Groman guarded by Emma Schmidt. And now Eliason. Working on Mike Sell. Groman goes right to left. Launches a three, just a little strong. Tracked down by Brooke Kane. Fakes and then takes a mid-range shot, but a little strong there. Walker on the rebound. Ricky Harris. Hands it off to Mike Sell. Working with the left hand. Steps back again. Throws it into the corner. Shoemate, wide open, splash! Emma Shoemate with the three-pointer. That's her first of the game. Shoemate gets in on the fun as well, Jack, for this Ohio State squad here. Dominant third quarter, and they look to continue so far. 5-0 run to start the fourth. O'Connor's pass finds Eliason. Looking to feed Brooke Kane, Ricky Harris. Thought she read another one. But that's going to be her first foul instead on the region. 
Yeah, she wasn't quite happy with that one. She thought she got it cleanly. Regardless, going to pick up the foul there. Brookane handoff to Eliason off the inbound into the corner. Groman a three. A little strong there. Shoemate grabs the rebound. Gives it to Ricky Harris. Ricky Harris on the drive. Finds Walker inside. And she is fouled. Great job there again in transition. Just getting the ball quickly up the court is what Ohio State really succeeded on the third period. What they're doing so far there. I mean, Walker really drawing the contact, going to the line for the pair. Which we see again. Great pass down low. Gets the contact at the very end. Zebedee Walker. She's got two points tonight. One for three from the floor. Makes that three now today, Jack. Get a foul on Paige Cody. You saw the look in Paige Cody's eyes on that foul. She just got the hand of Ebony Walker. And Walker will hit them both. Ebony Walker, native of Las Vegas, Nevada, a couple transfers, played at Arizona State in 2019-2020 season, and then at Syracuse last year during the 2021-22 season. Here with the Buckeyes, back up big here. Get some action here in this late game as the inbounds. Heaven Bristow commits the foul on Diana Eliason. That's her first. Wildcats here trying to get something going on the offensive end. They haven't scored in a minute. Brooke Kane working her way, kicks it outside to Williams. Williams is a step back three and a great move, but shot not there. McMahon to Walker inside to Bristow. Showtime here at Value City Arena. Buckeyes making it look easy on that fast break. Showtime, Buckeyes is right. And another steal. McMahon's got this one. She'll lay it in for two more. This Buckeyes team is fueling, Jack. 9-0 run to start the fourth. They're picking up just where they left off here. McMahon now 20 points. She leads all scores today. Williams, nice freeze there to get Brooke Kane on the pass, and then Brooke gets it to Eliason. Doesn't like what she's got off the move at the free throw line, so she'll kick it out. Williams is going to slow things down for the Wildcats. Kane with Harris on her, looking inside for Cody. Cody, nice position change, but can't hold on to the pass. Heaven burst out with the steal. Here's Heaven. Slowing it down. Gets it inside to Walker. Walker wanted the shot. Little move there. Now she gets the shot off. Shoemate tipping it in. Is foul. Or she commits the foul. Excuse me. As it was a uh, wildcat possession here. We're going to get some subs. Take a look at that showtime play. McMahon to Walker to Bristow. Just great heads up passing there. For the easy bucket. Under seven minutes to go here. The Buckeyes up 80 to 33. Kane. Pump fake. To a pass to O'Connor. And now inside to Kane. Where she draws the foul. This Wildcat squad. Just trying to do anything. To get some points on the board. Jack they kept this game really close. They're only down 10 points at halftime. Scoring 20 in the second of their 33, but we talked about in the third quarter, only four points and yet to score in this period. Ohio State defense has really turned it on, and the Wildcats haven't had an answer offensively. Yeah, and for this new Hanford team, Cole, just... you got They got back into the game. Brooke Kane is at the line here after just missing, or making that first shot up to 13, missing the second. She was the reason she uh, they got back into this game. She had six straight points. The leading scorer, she only had two points in that third quarter of the four overall. And just cold on the other end is shooting. Throws up a three at air balls, but essentially a pass to Ebony Walker. She stays with the ball uh, shot, lays it in for two. Walker's got six to go along with her three rebounds. Step back three on the move by Williams. Can't get it to fall. Shoemate pulls down the rebound. She'll bring it up the court. Taking on O'Connor, now gets it to Walker. Walker leaping up for the pass, gets it to Shoemate. Now Ricky Harris directing traffic in the corner. Bristow launching a three. A little long there. Brooke Kane pulls down the rebound. Wildcats on the other end. 
looking to just set something going here as O'Connor launching a three. Pulled down by Burkane. Looking to go right back up with it. But she's uh, timeout called there, excuse me, by Coach Kelsey Hogan. Kelsey Hogan, just quite the journey there. Coach. Five has been the scoring differential in this second half alone. Kevin McGuff's squad really turning it up in the second half. Got to wonder what he said to them. He said, we need to pick it up. The Wildcats were out playing the Buckeyes in the first half. And how are they going to respond? And, well, they quite did it so far. Hey, not bad for a team that... As, uh, it's hard to get outplayed, as Coach McGuff said, and be up 10. But he's got to like the second-half performance out of his squad, especially on the defensive end, as they force another miss here. Ricky Harris with another board. That's six for Ricky Harris. Off the pass from Bristow. Bristow again. She gets it over to Ricky Harris. Now back. Bristow sets herself up for a three. In and out. Crowd wanted that one. But Williams coming back on the other end. Brooke Kane. Over to O'Connor. Poked by Harris. Harris does not like that call. She got a hand on the ball, but then the second hand might have been a foul on O'Connor. Yeah, Brick Harris again. Not happy with the call quite. It's the second time that she's been picked up for the same reason because of this. New Hampshire's going to go to line for a pair. Yeah, if she's going to commit some fouls, cool. You know, it's usually on the reach inside. It's, she's just so good at making life difficult for the other ball handlers. As Avery O'Connor misses the first shot. Three steals. She's could have could have had a couple more. And you know what just blows my mind, Cole, is that she's not even the best at getting the steals on this team. That would be Madison Green. Just what a great combo they are pressuring opposing backcourts on the other end Kaya Henderson is checked in for the first time she gets it to heaven Bristow Bristow driving in hard with authority she takes the contact from Carolina Anderson and she will shoot two and heaven Bristow has been great for Kevin McGuff's squad so far this season she only averages you know four and a half points a game but her difference is the way that she can impact what you can't see on the box score. All those intangibles, the extra plays that are needed, the second chance opportunities. is something that Evan Bristow really thrives on, coming off the bench and giving a little spark plug to this Buckeyes squad. And Bristow here with two earned free throws. She misses the first after the tough take on Anderson. Anderson with her third foul. Bristow, the Las Vegas, Nevada native and senior on this Buckeye squad. Converts one for two at the line. On the other end, Anderson draws the foul on Kaya Henderson. Yeah, and Kaya Henderson just checking in the game, along with Caitlin Costner now as well in the foul. We'll keep the Wildcats at the free throw line as they are in the bonus, but again, a great job just getting Kevin McGuff and seeing how he can go down his depth chart a little bit, Jack, seeing what he can really use and see how everyone can really make an impact come the start of their Big Ten conference season. Yeah, and with a couple players unavailable today, Maya Perry and J.C. Shelman, you go up big tick this goal, you might want to see what you can get out of some other players on the bench. As great rebound there by Brooke Kane, but working her way Inside, tough defense by the Buckeyes. Another sub in here, Caitlin Costner. Good to see her. Sophomore from Indiana. She gets it over to Bristow. Kicks it over into the corner. Emma Shuey takes the three, drives inside, and now ball works itself out. Caitlin Costner calling over Emma Shoemate, but now she's going to drive in. Costner with the soft touch. Great take inside by Caitlin Costner, and she's on the board. Yeah, you hit on that exactly. Just doing a good job. Even though one of the smaller players on the court now, just a great job going inside, attacking the rack there, being physical, and you get two points to come away with a reward. They yeah, say it. she's such a small, quick ball handler for the Buckeyes. And she gets a rebound here off the miss from Breezy Williams. Calling out the action here. Williams on Costner. Handoff after the shoemate pass. Now a handoff to Bristow. Bristow with a full head of steam driving in, but a foul 
Going to be called on number two, Bert Kane. It's a good job by Evan Bristow again. Like you said, a head full of steam. Just putting her head down, going to work there and attacking the rack. Such physicality and versatile as well from Evan Bristow. Again, going to the chance to the charity strike for two. The Providence transfer in her senior year at Ohio State. Makes the first one. Get herself up to six points. A rebound, a block, and a steal. Good little stat line for Bristow in her seven minutes of action. Hits the second. Go two for two at the line. 87 to 36 here, the score. The fans here for this Buckeyes team, mostly the elementary school students, as we talked about. It's elementary school day here for the Columbus schools. They've been loud and proud all day for this Buckeyes squad that they love. Bristow getting involved on defense again. Forcing another turnover, but looks like we're going to have a turnover here. We're going to go back to the Wildcats to jump ball. Yeah, Evan Bristow getting in at the end of that, trying to be aggressive. It's going to stay here at the Wildcats, though, but again, just talking about the intangibles that she does. That difference maker, the extra hustle play, something that Kevin McGuff truly appreciates on this Buckeye squad. Out of the inbounds, Williams kicks it to Anderson, who launches a deep three. Just misses the rim. Rebound to Bristow, and now here's Caitlin Coster. Directing traffic again. She calls for Walker to set Bristow a pick. Driving in, that clears the room for Costner. Little strong there. Walker gets the rebound, though. Kicking it out. She made a three. She's got it. That's two threes for Emma Shoemate today. On the other end, Carolina Anderson. Gets it to Brooke Kane. And now Adara Groman. Looking to freeze up a three. Now driving in off the Hezzy. Good take there, but Shoemate stays with it. Blocks it out of bounds. Fantastic defense by Shoemate. Just keeping her in front of her the entire way. Just staring at her stomach, making sure she doesn't go anywhere. Keeping her hands up. Great defense by Shoemate. Williams looks deflected by Costner. Here's Walker. Great pass to Bristow, and she lays it in. We've seen Walker with two great assists off fast break plays. She gets another assist here as she finds a streaking Bristow down the court. Brooke Kane at the top. Gets it over to Groman. Anderson now in front of the Wildcat bench. That's Williams. Kane looking inside. Instead, she'll take a free throw line jumper. It's going to be called foul on the jump shot. Kevin Bristow called for her second foul. And the Wildcats stay in the bonus here, but Jack for this Ohio State squad, a minute 40 to go. They didn't pull away with this one in Columbus, a 9-0 run as they've been streaking. But this has been the identity of this Buckeye squad, even though going down their depth chart a little bit onto their bench. It doesn't matter who's in. Ken McGuff likes his team to always keep his foot on the gas no matter what. Yeah, and his both free throws missed by Brooke Kane. Do a little look ahead here. We got 92-36 the score as we're under two minutes to play. The Buckeyes started Big Ten play on Saturday against Rutgers Cole. And they had this little break here against New Hampshire. Sunday again, they welcome in Michigan State. There's a solid squad themselves. Only a couple losses for them. That game's going to take place at 4 p.m. That's going to be a really good test here for the 9 and 0 Buckeyes. Yeah, I think you said it best. They picked up a great win against Rutgers where Taylor Mikes and Rebecca Miklaskova took over the entire show. But talk about getting back into Big Ten play against Michigan State, seeing how they can really keep going and see how they go in conference season. Big Ten's a really good conference. Ohio State, Indiana, and Iowa as well, commanding those top three spots right now. Yeah, Buckeyes, that's their first game, or second Big Ten game, and it's their first in a while as they'll have four games before they go and take on Northwestern and resume Big Ten action on uh, December 28th. Walker missing that shot there. 
as we get to 40 seconds to go. Wildcats go on to four and seven. This is their uh, first loss after a win against Wagner on Monday. They will get a big break, though, Cole. They don't play basketball until December 21st against Merrimack back at home. It's a very interesting schedule there for the Wildcats as they'll get a little break here after this trip to Columbus. The Buckeyes will dribble out this one here. As the Buckeye faithful on their feet. And you know they're going to show out for the next game on Sunday, as we said, against Michigan State. But that will do it here from Value City Arena. 92-36, the final. The Buckeyes pour it on in that 